Welcome to the Vans World Cup of Surfing Round 3 Heat 13. Joel Parkinson, Leonardo Fioravanti, Finn McGill, and Adam Melling. Veterans, rookies, technicians. The section that needs a little more north angle to it. And then you got Sunset, and then you've got the point. Sunset proper, a little further out on the reef to be against the, the top seeds. You know, the lower he is in the rankings, the higher the seeds he's going to come against in those first rounds of the first few events. Who are some of the guys he'll be facing early? Well, I watch Joel here real quick. Bit of a foamy face here, but he's going to watch. He'll find something. But I mean, you look, you look at the rankings, the seeding will go. It'll be, you know, you start to do that seeding. And it's important, you know, for this first couple of events, the way it works too is that you kind of like, however you finish in the first event gets, there's a formula in which the seeding kind of takes place for the first, you know, you just kind of want to, you don't want to have to come up against John John or Ke Kelly or Gabriel first, you know, first couple rounds. Here goes Adam Melling. Finally getting something going here. Joel Parkinson has a one and a 2.23. Thank you, Chris. I would not lie to you, surf fans out there. Finn McGill on what's looking like one of the best waves we've seen of this heat. Nice opening carve. Straight off the bottom, into the lip. Beautiful snap of Finn McGill. 16 years old and surfing like a veteran. Right behind him, Leonardo Pieravanti. Straight off in the lip, air dropping going down. Rough landing for Leonardo. Now Adam Melling. Like this set. Three waves in a row. Looking solid. Nice two-stager carve. Straight up into a snap off the whitewater. Is there one for Parco out the back? Very Stylish. mature. Stylish. There it is. See, nice big peak drops in this first section. Beautiful arc. This is the money turn right here. He times it perfectly annihilates that lip, carves it back. Yeah, good wave. One behind it, Leo went down quick, but we're gonna watch Adam Melling. I just think it's a little more meaty wave. I think judges will take note of that, and then the arc. Different styles and approaches. I mean, uh, I like that one a little better. You liked I'm going Finn. Finn, all right. Okay. So there you go. I mean, that's again, this is a perspective of judges. See what happened to Leo here. You know, he attacks the lip, Three falls, and you can see off balance his actual foot goes to the left rail and his body and weight on the other side. See, he has the un unweights here. The front foot disconnects right there and gets the stringer and then just puts him off balance. Carried a lot more speed through those turns, just, you know, and it's only separated by three quarters of a point. So, again, very slight differences. Well, at least we got a heat on our hands now as Joel Parkinson carving his way down the line here on a gem at Sunset Beach, straight up again into the lip. Nice floating snap, quick layback jammer for Joel Parkinson. See, he's such a, it is, it's like Cool Hand Luke, right? I mean, he's just so no nonchalant, but everything, the board's doing all these amazing things and he just makes it look so silky smooth and easy. Top to bottom, you know, little uh, jiggy jig like that at the end. So he is now in the hunt as Parkinson will be dropping something of note. Here goes Finn Miguel trying to get the momentum going and blowing the tail out. Second half of this heat is lighting up here at Sunset Beach. A late under the lip drop for Fioravanti. Nice open face carve. Gets at it again. Beautiful turn right back into the pocket. And somehow maintains control in an out of control situation. That's the last taste they have in their mouth. Well, and you could just everything smooth in this approach. Not super critical, but good flow. Good, nice round turns. And then right here, he pushes the bottom turn. There's a little rib right in the face. Somehow. Probably quite nicely on those first two turns. We'll see what the judges say. Joel Parkinson now in second place. Mid-sizer. Layback snap under the lip. We've got a good looking line across this mid portion. Like he's at home at Snapper Rocks carving. And right behind him, Adam Melling. Adam Melling also growing up on a nice right point break, Lennox Head. I'm trying to think back, Stan, where Parco style comes it's still from. Still going. I think it comes from a mix of watching 
you know, Rabbit, Michael Thompson, you, you tend to have a smoother style if you're born and bred in point breaks. I mean, look at Tom Curran, the Coffins. Mick Fanning is another guy where. Well, let's take a look. Really long wave. You know, he's already has a 7.43. Trying to better a 2.23. He will do that by a long shot. But again, it's just his style is so smooth. And somehow his board always goes a little higher, a little rounder, a little faster than everybody else for the limited body movements that he uses. And again, uh, he beaches this thing literally. We're not going to watch him beach it, but uh, did ride it all the way. And then Adam Melling, nice critical turn there. Big round arc again, honing those skills on the point breaks of Northern Australia. Bit of a mistake there. Oh no. Wow, insult to injury. Finn McGill has to duck dive a monster as your oh. <laughs> current leader. <laughs> That was amazing. Throwing the unseen double, double rail arm grab, grab <laughs> roundhouse cut back. Oh, man. Here we go, Leo. Whoa. Don't stop watching for one second. You never know what's going to happen. Needing a 7A3, Leonardo Fioravanti. Uh, that's not how he wanted to finish that wave. This is his best Vans Triple Crown of surfing ever. Yep. And he's got a lot of room to grow from here.